Mark wrote, you probably have already mentioned it, feedback loop. Someone was talking, I, I recently heard, I was, yeah, I know, I was recently actually watching a video about feedback loop. <laughs> uh, feedback loop, yes, use imagination, inner ear, but make sure that you're actually listening to what you're doing. Don't get trapped in the illusion. You know what? I can tell you this thing. Why imagination helps us control the tone is because when we have something in our mind and then we hear something and then something, even, even without um, much attention, if that goes in disharmony what is in our mind, we always notice it. Um, we always notice it. So imagination is kind of a natural feedback loop, a natural loop, you know? Because if you don't have anything in your mind, then whatever you hear outside will be okay for you because you have nothing to compare with. Everything is in harmony with emptiness that you have in your mind. <laughs> but when you imagine a certain quality of note and then you play it, uh, you'll be like, oh God, no, 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 that's not what I want. <laughs> because many teachers, um, professors, in my conservatory um, years, they were telling me, listen yourself from outside, listen yourself from outside. And I was always puzzled with this, because for me, listening yourself from outside is a bit of coincidence. It's like, okay, you, you already make the step without much intention of how it dis has, has to be, but you notice afterwards that it wasn't good. Yeah, okay, I'm listening myself from outside, but how can I control what I'm playing? That's, uh, that's a bad question. <laughs> so yeah, when you imagine out, then whatever, even passively, you can hear from outside will, that is not matching what you imagine will always disturb you. And this is how you will be aware of how you're playing. <laughs> 